Hi, Digital Arts. We're going to be looking at some basic vocabulary, and then we're going to be looking at some different things on to get you started on Photopea. The first thing we're going to do is look at some basic terms. On your worksheet, you can put on as much or as little of the vocabulary as you want. Um, just make sure that you understand what they mean. PSD is a format that preserves your layers. What that means is that if you are not finished with your work, you can open up your PSD file and all of your layers will still be individual and you can work on them separately. However, this is not web friendly. If you try to turn in a PSD file to me in Google Classroom, I won't be able to see it. A PNG is the format that compresses your layers. If you try to open a PNG and work on your image separately, it's not going to work like that anymore. But this is the file that you want to turn into Google Classroom. A pixel is a unit of measurement for a digital image. Think about Minecraft or uh, some of your earlier video games where the characters were made out of squares. Resolution is the amount of pixels that make up an image. The more pixels you have, the higher the resolution. If your resolution is high, that means your image is going to be crisp and clear. If it's low, that's it's going to be a little bit blurry. It might not look blurry when it's small, but as soon as you try to make it bigger, it will get pixelated. Transparent just means see-through. So let's go ahead and go to Photopea, and I'm going to show you how to create a new work, how to save a work, how to download an image from Google, and how to get an image from Google Classroom. These are all things you're going to need to do to be able to be successful in this class. To create a new work, you'll notice right away that on the front menu, you can create a new project right there. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice a menu. Whoops. Sorry about that. You'll notice a menu that pops up where you can create a new project name. And then you can also change the width and the height of your image. This is in pixel measurements. So let's say we want a 400 by 400 pixel workspace. Obviously, because it's the same width as the height, it's going to be square. DPI is basically your resolution. 72 DPI is about your minimum that you want to go. Uh, 150 is pretty decent for printing, and then anything higher than that is better. If your DPI is too high, however, your file might not save or your program might crash or it might take forever to do anything. Make sure your background is changed to transparent and then hit create. This checkerboard pattern basically tells you that your workspace is transparent. Next, we're going to learn how to save. In the menu bar, click on file and then click on save as PSD if you want to keep working on this project. If you are done for the day but you want to be able to work on the project the next day, make sure to save it as PSD. So you'll notice on the lower right hand corner it says download complete. Remember what we talked about with your download folder. If you log out of your computer now, this fold file will delete. Let's say you're finished with your project. Click on File, click on Export As, and then click on PNG. A Save menu pops up. This is where you can renumber your uh, the size of your canvas if you want. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, and then make sure your quality is at 100 because you don't want to downgrade any of your hard work. Click on Save, and again you'll notice that it says Download Complete. To move your files from download to your drive, click on the bottom left-hand icon of your Chromebook, click on the search bar, and you'll notice an icon that says files. Click on that. The menu that pulls up shows your downloads. Click on your downloads, and you'll notice all your projects are in there. Click on the little arrow for to open your Google Drive and then another one for your drive. Scroll down to where you can see your digital arts project folder that you created earlier. To move your files 
into that digital arts project folder, click on the first file that you want. And then if you hold shift and click on any other files below that, they will all go at once. Of course, if you only have one file, you can just drag that one file into the folder. Drag it over to the digital arts projects folder and let go and you'll see it pop up. Make sure that your folder is blue and that you see your project before you exit through. Now let's say we want to download an image from Google. Go to Google and then you're going to click on images. That ensures that you're only looking at images. Let's look up a picture of a cat. When you hover your mouse over an image, you'll notice some numbers on the bottom. These numbers are talking about the size of the picture. When you're looking or when you're working on a project in this class, you're going to want to click any folders or files that are about 800 to 1,500, somewhere there. Anything larger than that, and you may look at a slowing computer or a crash, anything lower than that, and you're going to be looking at a picture that is very pixelated. In order to make sure that you have the highest quality photos possible, come up to the menu bar, click on tools, click on size, and click on large. You'll notice that a few of the photos change, but you'll definitely see that when your mouse hovers over these images, they are very large files. Let's click on this image here. If you want to download this image, you have to click on it first. Then you're going to right click on the image and click save image as. Find your folder where you're saving all of your items and hit save. Now go back to Photopea, go to the menu bar, click on File, click on Open, and you should see your image right there. Double click on the image and it should open. Oftentimes when we're doing practices, I'll upload images for you on Google Classroom. If you want to uh, an image from Google Classroom, all you have to do is click on the assignment You'll see the image there. Click on the image, right click on the image, click save image, just like we did in Google search. Make sure you're in your folder, click save. And again, all you need to do now is open your file. If you have any questions about how to create a new work, how to save a work, how to download an image from Google, or how to get an image from Google Classroom, just let me know.